My name is Drew of Andrews. Welcome back to my building world where I change the world to look something kind of like a Zelda game. One build at a time. Sit back, relax, grab your favorite caffeinated beverage and enjoy the video. Nobody commented on what they wanted me to build next so I'm going to decide I'm going to build a George next. But there's a... Uh, there's about three things in the way. There was this house, there's this job right here, and I think this hill needs to be cut back a little bit. So that the, the vehicle can be opened up more. Alright, this is going to be the force explosion. I put in a handful of TNT because I don't want it to explode my build right next to it. Well, I didn't get everything, but that's okay. Here's the next explosion. I didn't use too many TNT because I didn't want to make a big hole. Well, here's the TNT set for the next explosion. Hopefully this one isn't too big. I'm going to start it on this side, so it hopefully won't blow up the bridge. Well, that's what the explosion looked like. Now it's time to fix it all up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the layer below the water to be able to get all the water to be at the correct level. Okay, I've placed down the red concrete and now I need to remove it all to be able to get all the water to flow down. Alright, I removed all the red concrete and now I'm going to make everything look way better. So I replaced much of the stone with, the, with some dirt and added grass on top of it as well. Um, the explosion revealed a few underwater caves. There's about three of them, I think. But the next step is to replace all the stone. Well, not all of it, but a realistic portion of it underneath the water. Alright, it changed out a decent amount of the stone for dirt, gravel, sand, and a little bit of clay. And I also put down some seagrass for a final little touch. And this is how it looks. Okay, I filled in the hill right here where this explosion happened. And I also, there was another hole over here somewhere. I think it was above above this water entrance right here. I filled in that in as well. Now it's time to get started on building the actual church. First thing that needs to happen is a little bit of planning because it's going to be a little bit more complicated than a, a basic little house or just a round circle in the middle or a bridge. Okay, I have this little basic thing for the entrance. Eventually, I want this part, specifically this little square part, to go up and have like a little bell on top of it and then across above that. Now it's time to make the actual body of the torch. So I have the basic planing down for the, the middle of, you know, the main, main room for the torch. And over here can be like the podium and have like a back room for the pastor's office or whatever and I might have a, an extended little room over here because you know there would be an extra room for church and church needs. I've completed the planning for this little bit on this side of the church here so I got say like the pastor's office maybe where he would go to sleep because let's just make it so that you know it's the middle ages he probably sleeps inside the church because he's here like 24-7. And then you got your extra room for doing extra things over here. I might add a little storage room on this side so it's not all blank and bland on this side. But now I'm going to add in the flooring. Alright, so I added in some flooring. I also added in some lights. I'm going to put carpet over it. And I made it so like if you flip it on, it turns on the light. The carpet will cover all of that up. Alright, this is what I decided to do with with the carpet. I like the color blue, so I chose the color blue and some of the other blues. And this is what also what it looks like when it's at night time. And this is what it looks like with the lights completely off. So to be able to make room for the redstone in the corner, I ended up extending the corner out a little bit. It looked like this. Because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get the corner to light up properly. Alright, I decided to add in logs all around the outside. To give it my little the style that I like to add on to stuff. Okay, I added a little barn section or like storage area next to the the church right here. I made it have like some pretty open doors so that you know you can carry big stuff in and out. Now it's time to build the church building like up to where it's how it's gonna be towards the actual frame of the building. 
All right, so I built the roof up on this side so I can be able to determine how tall I want the next layer of uh, ceiling I want it to have it be. All right, I built up the framing a little bit. I think I'm still deciding what I really want to do on these corners, whether I want the framing to be more square or if I want this to be jutted out a little bit or or whatever I, however I need it. All right, I filled out the rest of the framing. I also built up the walls and decided to do with what to, with the corners over here. I, I put down some stairs so that if people want to go up to the second floor to be able to view the sermon, they are able to. Okay, I created the underlining floors for the second floor and the walls as well for the second floor. All right, I built up a little bit more for the second layer. I got the flooring in and I built up the, the poles and the, the walls a little bit. All right, I built up some roofs on the sides. Now my plan is to build a little bit more straight up, add in some windows and put on the final roof and the, the bell tower as well. I also added in some birch wood slabs for the underside of the roof just to make it have a little bit different a little more contrast than all the brown and the gray. So there's a little bit more whitish in there as well. And if it was real life, it would bounce light off a lot better than a dark ceiling. Alright, I started on the roof a little bit. I also put some birch stairs underneath as well. And in between, I'm going to be putting in a block so I can be able to say like cut into this stuff and be able to have cobble deep slate on the inside when I go to textual. Alright, so I've completed the very top of the roof. Now it is time to walk on giving a really big uh, stained glass window. Yeah, you. Just trying to think of the words. Alright, I got the shape for the window and now I just need to put in some stained glass. This is what I made for the stained glass. I put brown stained glass for the cross. I put green for grass down below, red for blood, blue for sky, lighter blue for higher up sky, and the yellow for uh, like a, the sun or something. Now it's time to work on all the texturing, which is going to be quite a bit. Or maybe I should finish the clock, the, the bell tower first. Okay, I got the, the basic shape of the bell tower figured out. Now I'm going to just make the roof. Okay, I have now completed the roof of the bell house, and so now I'm going to actually create the bell. I do want to have like a small bell that activates, like that rings, but I want that to be like completely redstone, and I also want like a big bell inside a hue. Well, there's not very, very many good colors to make a bell. The, the best color there is is gold, however, there is no steel blocks of gold, so it won't, won't even look like a bell if I made it. Which is very disappointing because I really wanted to make a bell. Well, if I don't come up with a different idea, which I don't think I'm going to be able to, the bell tower is going to have a very small bell. Well, now that the bell tower is completed, I don't like when you have such a such a tiny bell when it should be about twice the size. But that's what we get because it's Minecraft. It's time to texture with the actual cobblestone or the, the bricks. All right, I finished the texturing on the outside. It took a lot longer than I thought it would have. But the texture on the outside is done and now I just need to do the inside. Make sure everything looks right because all the lines and whatnot are going to be there on the inside. You can't see it very well right now but I did also finish um, texturing the inside of the church. Alright so I've added the detail onto the outside. I think it looks quite nice. I added in the stairs, the fences, the gates, the signs, the trap doors, the lights, the chains. This time I extended it out a little bit using the gates. I added in this beam right here to separate between these two sides. I wanted to separate something inside of this big slab, but I couldn't figure out what to do about that. So I just left it how it is. Okay, I've textured the roof. I think it looks really good. 
I'm actually quite more enjoying this roof a lot more than that roof. I know I said I was going to make every single roof in this uh, town couple, but I think the church could be an exception. Because I really like the deep slate, cobbled deep slate roofs. And I think it, I think the, the roof really turned out well. I didn't, I didn't uh, texture any of this guy at all, but I think it's fine with this guy not being textured. I've also completed the details on the inside. I put down pews. And I also detailed all of the arches completely. I put in trapdoors and stairs to make it have like a little nice little arch look to it. Did put those everywhere. I put in these nice soft blue lights everywhere just so that everything's not too bright. I put in there's brighter lights over here because you don't, this is where you're going to be focusing on, it's where you want most of the light. I also put in some paintings. I really enjoyed what kind of paintings they had to make it look kind of like a religious place. There's candles, as a, you know, a good a good church would have candles up front. And I, and I did figure out how to do the, the dragon head trick to make a good looking piano. I also used fences, not fences, but gates as fences up here because I like the look of the fences more I mean the gates than I do the fences they just look more detailed in here you have the uh he always messes up the computer when he stands up but this is like the where the head's pastor's desk would be and whatnot you got he, he just keeps on doing it it's awful he has the wither painting right there just kind of sus. This is the head, head pastor's bedroom where he would go to sleep. Got a little desk, desk over here, the wardrobe way over there. And he got two offices for like other pastors inside the church. This this desk isn't isn't bad. Like it still has its painting, and this guy isn't being flipped up all the time because of the pressure plate. And then there's this desk, this side over here. Um, it has another, it's another office. And then you have this side room over here. It has, like, I don't know, a big couch area with a table. This is like the talking room where you go and have a meeting. And then there's this painting up here. My name is Drew Andrews. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video of me building this torch. It took quite a while. I think I took about five or six hours actually building it in-game. Longer than I expected, more like five hours, but still, it took me a long time, and now I have to edit it all. It's midnight, the day before it's supposed to be posted. Anyways, it'd be fantastic if you subscribed. Please like the video. I'll see you guys next week, and goodbye.